ghosts. Is it possible? And how many of those photographs are really true? Many people see ghosts, and sometimes they're lucky enough to capture those ghosts on film. But how many of those photographs are genuine? Just how easy is it to fake a photograph of a ghost? Well, we're going to take a look at some famous photographs today and investigate just whether they could have been faked. This photograph was taken by the Reverend Hardy when he was on a visit to England in 1966. He and his wife were touring the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich and were fascinated by the 17th century tulip staircase. When the couple developed their film, they were amazed to see two hooded figures on the staircase. They handed the photo over to the ghost club. Well, there certainly appears to be um, strange lighting effects. Um, there would appear to be um, one or two uh, uh, cowled and cloaked figures with uh, gnarled hands gripping onto the uh, tulip staircase handrail. Um, and the rest seems to be uh, more or less immersed in Stygian gloom. <laughs> One can't really see what's, what's there. This particular photograph, like so many photographs of similar nature, has created a great deal of um, a difference of opinion amongst various schools of thought. Some people think it was genuine. Some people think it could have been faked. It is said that at the time, photographic analysts could detect no uh, fraud about the photograph before, but uh, Obviously, in questions of this sort, one has to try and um, seek a rational answer to what might appear otherwise uh, inexplicable. How do you know? Everything's superimposed these days on the computer. Could be anything. That looks real to me. The Y Files decided to ask a professional photographer his opinion of the tulip staircase photograph. I'm seeing a copy of a transparency that I printed up the other day. And in this copy, I'm seeing uh, some banisters going off to the left of the photograph. And at the bottom of the banisters, to the right, I'm seeing a ghosty image. Um, there's, there's two hands that are on the, the railings there, um, which are quite in focus, as opposed to the rest of it that isn't. Um, this ghostly image is, is being uh, lit up by um, a light that's in the background. It seems quite strange. It's quite a bright light, almost as if it would be a window, but it can't be because there's not enough light. So looking at that, I'd say that it's probably a, a hall light quite an old one. So, just how easy would it be to fake a ghost on film like this? If I were to fake a photograph like this, I would have to have my camera set up on a tripod, have a wide-angle lens on it, be working at a slow exposure, and by, as we've already said, working on a slow exposure, it's going to make the image, if the image, what you're photographing is moving, it's going to give you a kind of ghosty effect anyway. So I'd have to work out how, how out of focus I wanted the uh, ghostly image to be and apply that exposure to it. Um, I'd be quite um, sure of what lighting I'd be doing. I'd be having quite a bright light in the corner of the room that was very diffused. I would make sure if I was doing that photograph that once I'd applied the, the right kind of exposure to it, a slow exposure, um, I'd tell the person that was dressed up to make sure they had their hands quite still. Not exactly, you know, can't move them, but I'd make sure that they were still for a lot of the exposure. Whereas I'd like the person to move, maybe sway a little bit, so that the camera wouldn't be able to keep up with the image, and you end up getting about four images, which gives you the ghostly image. As I said, there is an element to it that looks quite old. It would be quite hard to set up, but having said that, you can do it. This ghostly figure of a man sitting in a church was captured by a Mrs. Borham in Eastry near Canterbury in 1953. This photograph appears to be a transparent uh, shade of um, a clerical figure sitting in one of the uh, front pews of the church, of the church at Eastry in Kent. Uh, some people maintain that they recognize the features of a former vicar uh, and that he was very, very devoted to um, the church during the time of his incumbency and uh, vowed that he would still be with the church even after he uh, 
passed on. So perhaps this was a real visitation. No one can say for certain, but who knows? Very strange things have happened. Okay, looking at this one here, it, it, it looks uh, possibly a little bit older than the other one. Um, it's a better uh, quality print, so I can actually see a little bit more in there. Um, this one would be fairly easy to actually uh, fake because um, you wouldn't even necessarily have to do it when you were taking the photograph. Um, if you were printing it like you would be doing in here with one of these enlarges, um, with that area there, if I held back the middle part of the area of the print um, using a dodging tool, and the dodging tool just stops the light hitting the paper, then I'd have an area of the paper that would be a lot lighter than the rest of the print, which would look basically like this one. But again, having said that, there's still uh, some detail in this ghostly image here that would lead me to believe that even if I did hold back part of the area, there's still detail in this uh, image, this ghostly image, that I wouldn't be able to put in there. It's, uh, it looks like something which has been tampered with, but certainly uh, it's, it's a real picture. Well, the ghost just looks so real. Yeah, it's definitely real. Uh, I don't believe in ghosts, and I've seen loads of these before, and uh, that's def definitely some camera trickery. No such thing as ghosts. It could be fake, but it's impossible to tell. Nobody can really say for sure whether these photos are genuine. Most of the photographers themselves have passed away now, but they do say the camera never lies. There's a slight element there of, of it being an ageing photograph and that it could be true. And there's another side to me that says, looking at it technically, that um, is a possibility that it's not. There's a ghost. There's a ghost, Sheree. <laughs> it's fake. I know, it's real. There's a real ghost. I don't know.